Hey, guess where I am? Does that uh, shade of blue and the uh, spider sacks and the floor <laughs> give you a clue? I am under the Bendix again because there's been a little progress. And uh, in my past video, which you should go and maybe review, uh, I complained about the casters being broken. And there's the remains of one of the casters. The two front casters on this machine are, well, they're broken. You can see uh, the wheel is gone. In fact, I don't even know if I have that part. And, you know, the, the remains, I think that's what I have. They're gone. Forget it. Now, uh, the two in the back are still intact. You know, they're probably just getting beaten. You know, right now it's on a, a big refrigerator dolly uh, held up by the bucket of Transformers. And, well, there's, there are no more Transformers anymore because, uh, well, hey, guess who's come to uh, crash the party? Come on, get out of there. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I took, um, let me just shove him out of the way. Get out of there. Um, 1,300 pounds of Transformers, scrap Transformers, to the, uh, the scrapyard. Boy, was my van not happy. He's, look at that. He's, what a ham. Get out of here. Anyway, good news. I was searching around for, for, uh, uh, a suitable caster because, you know, my original plan was to, uh, make an adapter plate and, uh, go and get some casters, uh, some pretty standard casters and, uh, you know, mount them, adapt them so they work properly. Um, yeah, it was kind of a messy operation and, yeah, but the good news is I've actually found some casters that might work. So introducing this guy here. This is from Revo, R-E-V-V-O. Uh, I found these in the Granger catalog, and um, they are pretty heavy duty. I like them a lot. Now, you have to realize that this, this Bendix, this machine weighs a thousand pounds. So, yeah, it's each caster has about a 250 pound load. You know, there's going to be a little variation depending on the, the center of gravity and all that kind of business. But yeah, 250 pounds load on each one. On these on these short little casters well yeah it's it's those are hard casters to find well Granger had them they're from Revo and they're the 2SL uh, um, line or part number I guess they vary a little bit and these little stinkers are uh, rated for 350 pounds a piece and more importantly they have the correct hole pattern. This is a weird pattern. It's it's two by two, and that's um, two from the two inches from there to there, two inches from there to there. It works out to like one and seven sixteenths or something, something along those lines. But uh, two by two in this diagonal pattern, and that whack, matches what the old casters are. So hey, I might have drop-in replacements. Well, not quite, not quite. The problem being is, you can see there, and there, some uh, machine screws coming down. Those are holding a transformer. And uh, is that transformer sort of there? Uh, not this one, but uh, this one here. And uh, that's what's used to mount the transformer. They may, those, those machine screws might actually get in the way. Let me reposition here a little bit. And, uh, you can see the diameter of the plate. I think these things are called plate casters. So let me get that in frame here. Is, well, it's about what, mm, uh, it's kind of a weird profile, you can see. Uh, yeah, it's about two and a half inches. It might actually interfere with that. If I mount it in these holes, these may get in the way. 
So I don't want to drill any new holes in, in the, uh, the good old uh, iron here of the Bendix. So, yeah, I think there's going to have to be an adapter plate. Um, actually, not an adapter plate, but a spacer plate. And uh, last night, I uh, cobbled up a, a quick prototype, and uh, here it is. Pretty simple piece of aluminum, four holes in the pattern. And it's just going to be a spacer. Wow, it is hard working under the, the spendix. <laughs> I'll be happy when this is all done. So, yeah, you can see it's just going to lift it up a little bit. So hopefully I can clear, get the shadow out of there, clear those machine screws coming down. Now, the back ones, the back casters, I don't believe have anything in the way, but I think the front two, and the front two are the ones that are broken, of course, uh, both have the machine screws that get in the way. So well, the truth of the matter is, I'm going to have to put uh, adapter plates, or not really, spacer plates, I should really call these things, on all the casters, just so they, well, everything's the same height. I don't want this thing to be tilted. Um, I did indeed buy four of these, so they all match. I actually got them directly from Revo because Granger did not have the ones with the black wheels. And, um, yeah, they're expensive. These things are, uh, I think I paid about 35 bucks a piece. Um, you know, they're, they're, but they're a whole lot better than the uh, junk you get at, uh, you know, the homeless depots. Um, yeah, it's, it's, these things are heavy, heavy duty. Um, so, you know, rather than spending, you know, 12 bucks at the despot, you know, here at 35. So yeah, it's going to cost me 140 bucks. Well, it did cost me 140 bucks to, to, to get the casters for this thing. I think it's worth it. Um, uh, the, the aluminum came from the scrapyard. Uh, when I was turning in transformers, I found a piece that I can cut a whole bunch of pieces off. Yeah, notice this this is a piece of junk. It's it's the holes are not really done very well. I don't have my machine shop set up yet, and um, yeah, this is all kind of hand done. But it's a it's a crummy prototype, and that's fine. Uh, when I get my uh, drill press set up, um, I'll make the real thing here. Uh, actually, what I really want, and something on my list now, is a real bridge port. I want a bridge port milling machine. You know, I've got the space. Uh, I've got the building, you know, the floor. This is a... Uh... <laughs> Remember, this this place was a uh, a machine shop originally. So, uh, I got the power, got the floor, got the space. I need a bridge port so I can make one of these things and look make it look all nice and professional. Like Anyway, I need to make four of these and uh mount them up and uh put them so so they uh so they clear everything you can see they they'll, they'll clear the uh, the machine screws if i sort of put it up like that sorry about the awful cam work but guess what i'm on the floor here um the only thing that may be an issue is this caster in here we'll see Look at that. that. That's a nice cast piece of steel. And the, 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 the load is actually uh, uh, transmitted to the plate uh, around the circumference by all those bearing surfaces. Look at that. That's nice. Um, oh, and the reason why I don't want to just put like four spacers, like four nuts, is I want this to be, uh, I want the uh, load to be distributed evenly over the entire surface of this caster because... I, you know, I don't know what happens. I don't want that top disc to warp because it sounds like that would be bad news. Anyway, one thing about this is, as you can see here, uh, this wants quarter 20s and they are uh, countersunk in there or, uh, you know, a place for a countersunk hole there. So you need a nice flat head. There's a little bit of clearance, but not much. So instead of, let me get that back in, the uh, machine screws on the Bendix, you're holding this, you know, with the nut down, it's going to have to be the other way around. Now, uh, something that may get in the way is, I don't know how much clearance there is there. It's uh, pretty tight. I may have to put spacers under the transformer uh, just so I can get a nut. Uh, get the four nuts in there. Well, actually, two nuts because it looks like two of them are uh, pretty, uh, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty clear. 
Um, but yeah, I may have to space up the transformer a little bit. And you know, I'll use jam nuts so they're pretty small. Uh, you know, these things are only taking uh, uh, the load straight through the uh, um, uh, straight through the machine screw. There's no shearing or load on the screw, so you know it, it's it's the nuts just there to keep the bolt from falling off, pretty much. Um, so that's pretty much the plan. So uh, yeah, it's I was extremely happy to find these casters. Let me get it there. I think this may be the uh, the caster of choice for me because I have a lot of things that uh, that uh, need casters, and I like this this low profile design with a lot of load. Rutherford, get out of here! He's he's trying to get in the picture again um, because I have a number of things that. Uh, <laughs> CDC and IBM, for some reason, made a, a bunch of equipment that does not have casters. You cannot roll the stuff around. And uh, I want to be able to roll it around, so I'm going to make a little, like, cradle carts, almost. And I want them to be nice and low profile. And yeah, it's going to cost me 140 bucks a set, plus all the incidentals. Um, but that's fine. You know, these things, these things are uh, heavy duty. They're going to last me a long time. So yeah, uh, that's that's about it. So yeah, I was extremely happy to uh, find these casters, and uh, okay, Rutherford's gone. Uh, extremely happy to find these casters. They look like they're just about what I want. No, they're not perfect, but I think they're as close as I'm gonna get. I've spent a fair amount of time looking for uh, a suitable caster, and uh, I think that's it. So yes, Revos. I think they're made in the UK, and they are nice. I'm very pleased with them. Very pleased with the company. They 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 ship these things out right away. Um, very professional. Very professional. Uh, so yeah, progress. We'll get this Bendix go going again, or at least rolling pretty soon, so I can get out of the way. It's still kind of fouling the uh, the shipping dock here. Um, so yeah, hope you like the video. Give me a like. It helps me out. Maybe subscribe if you want to see some more progress. It's going to be a long-term project, but hey, there's going to be a lot of videos coming up on all sorts of interesting stuff. And yeah, go ahead and watch my old videos. There's some cool stuff there. Yeah, <laughs> not much production value, but hey, I'm getting better, hopefully. And yeah, sorry about this one with the poor light and the poor acoustics and the poor everything and the poor acting by the cat. Be Okay, well, whatever. Back to work. Talk to you later. Bye.